As all of our subscribers already know, one of the main goals of this channel is not only to share insight and cool moments in Escape from Tarkov, but also to expand upon its story and lore by digging deep into clues BSG and Nikita have left all around the internet over the years. But a lot of the time, these stories can seem incomplete, either due to deliberate exclusion of information to avoid spoilers, rough translations, or the fact that a lot of these elements are still a work in progress. I want to start a new series where we can closely examine what is publicly available about a certain aspect of Escape from Tarkov lore, and then, together with you guys, hypothesize what it may mean and decipher the full story of Tarkov. Welcome to Episode 1 of Tarkov Theory. Summer 2020. Patch 12.7 goes live, and with it comes a new scab boss, Sanitar. Sanitar was a unique scab boss in that he could use a wide range of stims, perform surgery on himself and his minions extremely fast, and he had an absolutely massive health pool. As soon as the patch went live, players started encountering him, defeating him, and pulling some of that sweet, sweet scab boss loot off his corpse. He can have a variety of nice items, but his two most notable drops are his key with tape and blue paint marked labs keycard that unlocked a new room in labs. For most players, this was really the end of the story when it came to Sanitar. He's a doctor gone rogue and is known for his medical items and unique drops. But if we take a closer look at Sanitar, his surroundings, and his drops, I think it paints a broader picture than we all realized at first. Our first clue in the real history of Sanitar is in the quest Huntsman's Path, Sadist in which Jaeger requests you to kill Sanitar. This is a multiple outcome quest, as Therapist will chime in and request that you do not kill Sanitar, and that you bring her some insanely valuable items instead, as she empathizes with Sanitar because there are reports of him helping and healing some locals. Jaeger is less open-minded, however, and his instructions are thus. Greetings, Voya. Something nostalgic came over me. I remember how I walked along the coast, it was beautiful there. The waves rolling in, the sun, the beach, and the sunsets were there outstanding, and now what? The smell of rotten desolation everywhere, from which the city cannot breathe. So plus to everything else, a new moron showed up. The senator, he seems to be called. This scum creates and conducts experiments on people and perhaps even more terrible things. You can't leave it like this. Such people shouldn't. This abomination should not walk on the ground. Their world will be only cleaner. Deal with this. I, uh, gave him a terrible German accent because of his, uh, name. Anyways, as we can see, Sanitar might be helping some of the locals, but he's also apparently experimenting on actual human beings. And then the next line, and perhaps even more terrible things. So what can we deduce from this? Well, Jaeger is in the position to know about this as he spent quite some time at the health resort before things in Tarkov completely fell apart. There's even a task where you have to go to Jaeger's old room there and retrieve some items for him. And we know that Sanitar was conducting some kind of official business there as he has his own office on the first floor of the East Wing. That's what the key with tape is for. Now, most players usually get distracted by multiple lead X spawns and constant PvP in this hot zone. But if we slow down for a moment, we can take note of one very important item in this office. The hazmat mat suit hanging in the shower. This same suit is seen all over in labs, and since Sanitar actually has two office keys he can drop, one for Shoreline and one for labs, this makes perfect sense, right? To put the final pieces of the puzzle together, let's go see Sanitar's office on labs. As we swipe the key card with blue paint to unlock Sanitar's office, we are immediately greeted by a floor scrubbing machine? This tiny office is not an office at all. It's a janitor's closet. Racks of cleaning supplies, janitorial equipment, and hastily put together laboratory and medical equipment is lying around everywhere. And this is where we can put together what I think is a solid theory as to Sanitar's background. Sanitar claims to be a former Terra Group's labs worker, which almost implies he was some kind of doctor or researcher, especially since he apparently has some kind of medical knowledge. In reality, Sanitar was actually a janitor, stealing supplies and equipment when nobody was looking and hoarding them in his tiny janitor's closet. He became delusional and convinced himself that he had a future beyond just cleaning floors and toilets, and that he could maybe someday prove that he has what it takes to be a medical professional that was completely self-taught. As the Tarkov situation began to unravel, he took phony Terra Group credentials to the health resort and advertised himself as a doctor, which he wasn't. In an effort to practice his medical skills, now lacking a proper laboratory, he began to experiment on living people within the health resort, possibly masquerading his depraved treatments as therapy. 
Once violence in Tarkov exploded, he once again fell into his own self-delusions and proclaimed himself doctor of the people, offering medicines and treatments to locals and scavs, which they happily accepted with no other better alternatives around. I guess you could say that instead of being known as Sanitar, he could be called the Janitar. Now this theory won't be complete until I get some opinions from you, the viewer. Do you think this theory holds water, or do you think the Sanitar is really the medical professional everyone thinks he is? Do you have any additional information that can help clear the story up? If so, I want to hear what each and every one of you have to say in the comments. If you want more videos like this, please, for the love of God, hit that subscribe button. YouTube isn't really promoting our content until we get more, and it looks like around 90% of those watching this aren't subscribed yet. It would really help this channel blast off. If you'd like to see me play Tarkov live, drop by my Twitch channel. I stream five days per week, and even if you just drop by to say hi, I'd love to see it. We'll have more content soon, so keep an eye out. But until then, I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.